right, what's up guys? Austin down and back in with another summer strength vlog for you guys. And honestly, I'm starting the vlog kind of late. I got a crap load of stuff in my hand. That's because I'm on my way to the pull-up bars now to not only do my pull workout, but to do the bring Sally up pull-up challenge that everybody asked me to do. So I'm just gonna do it for you guys today. Now this morning, I kind of fasted in a way. Um, I didn't eat until 12 o'clock because I was too busy um, editing and uploading my first vlog video. So I kind of skipped out on breakfast, but then I did get some oatmeal and I got a um, just a little protein shake. And now it's been like two hours since that. It's midday, four o'clock right now. All right guys, made it to the bars. It's honestly not a far drive at all. So yeah, as you can tell here, here goes the pull-up bars right here that I'm sure everybody recognizes in some aspect because I'm always here filming a video or something. I've been here since for three years now, you know? So I remember when I was uh, first started calisthenics, I would literally come out here at night and work out by myself, like in the winter too. And you know, that's what I'm gonna do now. It's hard to have motivation when you're out here by yourself. See, it's a, it's a big field and like nobody's out here but um i brought my earphones on play some music and actually i'm gonna warm up with the bring sally up pull-up challenge because if i was to do that after a pull-up workout that's going to be dead so we're going to warm up doing that or one of the first exercises really i'm actually about to warm up now i'm going to do a few laps around this track and just stretch out a little bit and then we're going to get into the challenge wish me luck Alright guys, I just finished the Bring Sally Up pull-up challenge. Honestly, I felt like I didn't last that long in a way, but you know, I haven't watched any other videos, so I don't know, but all I can tell you is that my forearms feel like they're about to explode right now. The hardest part about that challenge is holding on to the pull-up bar for so long. Like my back, I, I could have done a ton more pull-ups. My back was fine. It was just after holding on, like your, your grip just gives out and it starts hurting really bad. So if you're looking for a good grip training exercise, try out the Bring Sally Up pull-up challenge because I literally can barely move my fingers right now. That's how tight my forearms are right now. So I'm gonna rest a little while and then hopefully I can still do this, this pull-up workout. I'm supposed to work back and biceps obviously right now, so but my forearms are dead, so that's not good. So I'm gonna rest for a little while and then we're gonna get into the workout. Yeah, I'ma make this shit high. Oh, I'ma light this shit up. Yeah, I'ma make this shit high. Oh, I'ma light this shit up. with the best. You fucking with 
don't even know what else to say. I'm gonna let that 808 right out though. Yeah. All right, guys, the back and biceps workout is now officially over. Currently 6.08 right now, so I've been out here for a good minute. And as you can see, kind of got a pump going on. This is a pretty good workout. All right, so something I want to talk about. Um, if you see the title, it says going to the dark side or something like that. A lot of people have been telling me I have great genetics. And um, if I was to implement some type of weight training, you know, I would see even better results or maybe I should just try it out just to see what would happen, you know, because if I built this body just through body weight training and, you know, um, given good genetics or decent genetics, imagine what can be possible if I incorporated some weight training in there too. So I thought hard on this and I, I sat down with myself and I thought about it and I was like, you know, why not? I already train at the gym usually for the most part except for today some days i do train literally only body weight only as you can tell um, by the, the workout but don't worry i'm not going to go full on weightlifting. actually i sat down and i i looked at myself and i was like hmm i want to work on this body part i want to bring this up this up you know because mostly i do compound exercises so i'm gonna start using weight training just to isolate some of those um areas to make it look even better. So actually I got a list right here of what I'm gonna start doing starting next week uh, when I incorporate some weightlifting in the routine. So as we all know, I've already done this with legs. So I do uh, weighted squats, which is just, in my opinion, a weighted calisthenics movement, uh, weighted lunges, weighted pistol squats, uh, leg curl. So I've technically already done this for legs because I reached a point in my leg training where I just wanna try things out and see if I can get even better results with weight training. So some other parts that I wanna focus on are my medial delt. So this muscle right here. On push days, I'm gonna start doing flies, just three sets, probably at the end of the workout. I'm also, I want to work on more rear delts. So usually I work those with rows, as you saw in the workout. But at the end of, I think, pull workouts, yeah, pull, pulling workouts, start doing some rear delt flies, just three sets again. And then also I wanna experiment with some bent over rowing movements, just to see if I can get an even thicker back and I want to see if it will help me in my front lever pulling movements. Now besides that, that's pretty much the only uh, weight training stuff, like I said, besides legs and of course besides weighted calisthenics, so weighted dips, um, weighted squats, weighted push-ups if I even do those, that I'm going to be incorporating weightlifting into. So it's only a few exercises that I'm doing this for, so in my opinion, uh, starting next week, I'll still be, I'd say, 97% bodyweight training, just calisthenics. I just, like I said, want to use that stuff to test and experiment and to see where it will take my body. So, we're going to try it out next week. And, you know, if you think this is going to the dark side, oh my God, Austin, you don't do bodyweight training 100% anymore, then, you know, you got to keep your options open. You got to do what's best for you. So, calisthenics has, has treated me well for the past uh, two two and a half, almost three years, and I'll still continue to work on my statics, my planche, front lever, of course, that's not changing, of course, but, you know, just wanna experiment a little bit. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this already, but it's pretty, it's getting pretty late in the day, and I've only had a bowl of oatmeal and a 120 calorie protein shake, so that's a total of less than 500 calories for the whole entire day. So, since it's getting really late and I involuntarily or involuntarily, wherever the word is, uh, did intermittent fasting this morning because I was editing videos, I'm about to pig out right now. So, there's a good burrito place right down the street from here. It's literally called Burritos. So, that'll keep me full until later tonight, and that'll be a lot of uh, calories and definitely protein also. Hey, uh, can I get a, uh, I forgot, a wheat burrito? Yeah. <laughs> Rice and beans? Uh, yes, rice and uh, black beans, please. Uh, chicken. Uh, Alright, tell me why this burrito bag looks like it came out of a liquor store. I promise you I did not get liquor. Got a little bit of corn chips. Got a burrito right here. And of course, got her salsa. Darling, you send me.
All right, so my friend Sam, I'm pretty sure if y'all are old school viewers, some of you will remember my friend Sam back from my Daytona vlog and spring break like over a year ago. But he just hit me up and he was like, he's having a grill and chill at his place. So right now I took a shower and then uh, I got dressed obviously. And I'm about to go over to his place. He said there's gonna be food there, just chicken, hamburgers, you know, the usual grill stuff. So I'm gonna go over there, probably definitely finish the last meal over there. Then when I come back, I'll probably end it off with a protein shake. Hello, Hey, man. Come on in. You hungry? Hey, day workout. So